Hi, this is Chimplet2 on the PlayStation Network. This video will review the lighting and flooring options for the aircraft hangars in the Smuggler's Run DLC in GTA Online. I currently have style number 9 for my particular hangar and when I choose the lighting I notice that it's got four different lighting options. Now I'll be honest with you, until I had gotten to this point and I had actually already reviewed all of the hangar styles in another video, I didn't even realize that the lighting options actually change based on which hangar style you've chosen. And you do kind of see that when you change the hangar style, there's a little exclamation point next to the lighting option. And I think that's to tell you, hey, you've chosen a different style now and the lighting options that you had before might have changed. So this is style number nine with the green lighting option just to give us a place to start. So then once I realized that the lighting options change with all the styles, I kind of went back and started to review the different styles to see what the lighting options actually were. So I'm going to go back in and do renovate. And I'm going to look under the lighting. And again, I have these four different options for this particular style, style number nine, and an $80,000 upgrade for this red, excuse me, not red, purple look. And I just wanted to see this because my crew, our crew color is about that sh same shade of purple. So just wanted to see what it looked like and it does look pretty nice. Uh, but again, I will be going back to look at the other styles as well. I just wanted to finish reviewing these colors first. Finally, with that same style, I'm going to go back and take a look at the red. It's actually kind of a candy red, I think. There we go. Yeah, it is sort of a candy red lighting option. And this is with style option number nine, which is a whole lot of very light gray and white. So I believe now is when I'm going to go back and see what are the lighting options for each of the different style options. So that particular hanger style number seven happens to have the same lighting options as style number nine. So I'm going to go back and start with the first style option and all it has is this standard option and this is I guess sort of an enhanced style and it just sort of gives a little bit of a blue lighting in the um, up in the rafters uh, I think it's sort of the difference between like fluorescent and um, maybe LED or I'm no expert on lighting, so I'm sure I'm not going to say it right. But you can kind of see the difference there just in the selections. But I'm going to go ahead and purchase it so you can see it in person. And the effect that it has on the hanger. So there you can see the, the lighting I just bought. So let's go back and review the other styles as well. So the whole point of this is as you're purchasing your styles, you almost, you have to keep in mind what you want for your lighting and your floor graphics as well because they're all tied together. Whatever hanger style you choose, that's going to determine the trim colors that show up in your floor graphics. And whatever hanger style you choose is also going to determine what lighting options you have. So, so far these first few styles all just have the standard lighting 
and whatever this other option two is. And I'm now on the fifth hanger style, the one that has the nice bright red floor. That one still has just the two different lighting options. Quite honestly, it doesn't seem like those two make a huge difference, except up around the ceiling. You can see where the upper walls and the ceiling change color just a little bit. Are those maybe halogens and fluorescents? I don't know. Sorry, I have a friend who's an electrician. He's going to kill me for not knowing this. Um, anyway, so I'm going to purchase this particular lighting option and let you see that one so you can kind of see the blue sort of a tinge around the ceiling and the, the walls. So now that we get into option number seven, you can see that this one now has the four different lighting options. There's the white, the bright lime green, the purple, and the candy red. And if we go to hanger style number eight on the lighting, it also has the white and the bright green and the purple and the candy red. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one. That's a $60,000 upgrade for that bright green. Just to see what it looks like with option number eight. Not bad. It's very pretty. I don't see that these lighting options really have a direct effect on your vehicles that are down on the floor. They might because to be honest, I every time I would start to do this renovation, it would just move me back to the front of the hangar. So I didn't spend a lot of time running around in the hangar to see what the changes in the lighting did, but it doesn't look from a distance like it actually does affect the the planes and helicopters so I just chose to go back to option number nine the style option number nine and the purple lighting because that's what I wanted to keep but now as we're looking at the floor graphics again this was the first time I recognized that the time the type of style that you had chosen affected what your floor graphics looked like so style number two on the floor graphics was a $95,000 update. And I noticed, well, gosh, it's just white. You know, and it didn't look that way in the picture when I chose it. So I was kind of surprised at first that it was white. I was expecting it to look like it did in the picture. And it doesn't. It looks that way because I have style number nine. And it has white trim. Here we have the third floor graphics option for a $110,000 upgrade. And I have to kind of run up here so you can see it. There's the white line around the outside again because I have style number nine and the star in the middle. So if you choose one of the more uh, contrasting style options, with a more obvious trim color than just white, it'll probably look a lot more dynamic than this one. But that was just to give you an aerial view of what that floor style looks like. Now see there in the picture, it's got both red and yellow on that floor design. But because I have style number nine, it's all white. 
everything is all white okay white and light gray I guess <laughs> and at this point I started to realize that this really this style option is not the best one for showing off this floor so I came back in and decided I would go try another style option for the hanger that maybe would show off the colors a little better and as I mentioned in the other video, being a former resident of Denver, I went back to my Denver Broncos blue and orange. But this one definitely shows you a really nice contrast in what that floor design now looks like. Because you can see the floor is blue, the trim is orange, and there's also a little bit of white there around the center because there's also some white trim in that particular design. So I'll do the rest of these floor designs with this blue and orange uh, color style option number four so that you can see more dramatically what these floor designs actually look like. Now this one's pretty cool with the compass in the middle and the stripes around the side. very nice design so I thought since it was a little bit more intricate I'd come back here to the vehicle management and let you get a nice look at it from a distance So this is floor graphics option number six. I believe that's supposed to be sort of a, I don't know, maybe sort of a global symbol. Maybe looks a little bit like NBA, sort of a basketball, but I think that has a lot to do with my orange trim color. Now we'll choose floor graphics style number seven, which is a nice little target right in the middle of the room. And again, there in the picture, it was sort of red and white or red and gray, but because I have blue, orange, and light gray uh, colors here, that's what you see. Okay, next we're going to choose the floor graphics option number eight. This one is a $185,000 upgrade. And you can see with this one, you get big, large white boxes on the floor with whatever your trim colors are in nice little stripes and dashes. And it ends up creating like nine large boxes on the floor. And finally, flooring style design option, graphics option, number nine. This one's actually kind of fun. It's got little signs on it, so I'm kind of going to walk you around and let you see these. Um, this is a $200,000 upgrade. And you'll see some interesting this way error, arrows and rescue areas and... A1, B1, B2, lots of little signs, but it's kind of a fun design. So I hope this review helped you see what your flooring and lighting options will look like based on the style options that you choose and help you make a decision that you will enjoy having for a long time to come. Thanks so much for watching my video and as always a like for the video and a subscription to my channel would be greatly appreciated. Have fun designing your hanger.